In this video we're going to take a look at the art challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy miscellaneous challenge and the description says can you find the flag. So let's download the files. You can see I completed this about three years ago so can't expect to remember much of it. Let's Alright, so we've got a PNG image here. You can open that up and take a look at it. And we've got a lot of different colours spiralling around here. Alright, let's um, close that down. Let's do some basic file checks. Let's just do our usual verification. See what file what the file's called. Check for strings greater than 10. Check our XIF tool. Don't see anything useful there. Let's try and do foremost. Nope. Um, it's a PNG image, so we could do our usual Z steg or some of the stuff we did from our stego as well. So if we do Z steg dash A for all checks, and it'll try to see if there's anything embedded. So we can look out for strings here. So you can see it's taken basically like that different segments of data so you can see here like the LSB or the most significant by and then um, which color channels and things like that so if we found something here that we wanted to extract we could say extract it from and then copy this part but anyway that's um, this isn't in the stego category so I'm not really expecting this to work for us but just some things we want to get out of the way Let's open this with Steg Solve as well. And right here we can go through color inversion. We can check each plane. So it, there could be something where, you know, on a certain plane this begins to spell something out. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's a random color maps. We can do our stereogram solver. And yeah, it's not looking like it. So let's uh, do a bit of research and see what's going on. The problem we have here is we don't really have much to search. We have a file name called art. The hints, all it says is can you find the flag. We've not found any strings in, in the image. Um, you know, th this doesn't really give us any indication at all what it is. Nothing, none of the stego tools have found anything. There's not really much to go on. Um, we can can you find the flag? So, I mean, we could decode pixel image, image to binary converter. Uh, not too confident. Let's throw it in anyway. What's the what's the harm? Art.png. We can convert it. It's going to give us some binary, and then we could pass this binary into Cyberchef. Say from binary to raw delimiter. Let's actually grab this and go sublime, paste this in. And I want to get rid of where's the regex on this? Regular expression, just get rid of new lines. Oops, um, that'll make that simpler for us. Now we can just say non right here. Byte length eight, yeah, sure. And then we'll just save it as unknown. And then let's move downloads unknown right here and check the file type. So unknown data and it doesn't show anything recognizable there. So that's not, I don't think this is going to be the solution for us. We could play around with some of these settings, black and white. Um, to invert that, but 
let's see what else we have here if we can search image image in binary image random pixels no don't see anything um, another thing we could do in this case obviously this is an old challenge so this would it's likely all this is going to bring up is write-ups but if we could throw this into tin eye or into Google Images as a reverse search. If we go into Images, Upload, Browse, and similarly, we could do this in TinEye just to see if we get any different results. Um, you can see that we're likely to get a lot of. Uh, write-ups. Since we want to avoid looking at a write-up for, for this, we'll assume there's no write-ups available, but that unfortunately we've not really been left any kind of hints or anything by the author, so I'm going to check the um, hint on the Hack the Box forum. So we can see the hint, the hint here from someone, somebody's asking for a hint saying they've tried Stego tools but can't find anything useful. Try to get the color of the whole pixel because still can't find anything. Can anybody give me some hints? There's a link to the another forum post about this. Um, it's nothing like art is the only hint. Okay, now this is a Stego challenge. It's nothing like art. Oh, any hint for not art? Okay. This is so that's a different challenge. Um, here's the art challenge. Twenty point challenge. Feel this should not be stumped. Yeah, agreed. Having troubles too. Spoiler. Okay, just saying what they've tried. Hundred percent normal to show up. Yeah, yeah. Solved in a second. Uh, what was the challenge here? This is a really simple challenge once you know what it's about. I can only say that in the world there are many programming languages, even crazy ones. Go look for them. Alright, so that sounds like a good hint. Let's look for image programming language. Esoteric programming language. Wondered could we have got some of these from Decode? We tried to search for image already. Okay, let's um, let's see what we've got here. Image, Piet, Piet, language designed by David Morgan Marr, whose programs are bitmaps that look like abstract art. The compilation is guided by a pointer that moves around the image from one continuous color colored region to the next. Procedures are carried through when the pointer exits a region. There are twenty colors. Etc. Okay, so then there's an example. And there's an example that looks quite similar to what we have. So let's see if we can find a tool to do this for us. So let's have a look. Interpreter. Okay. Oh, let's have a look now that actually, sorry, now that we know the what it's called, let's also have a look on decode.fr and search for Piet. No, okay. So we need to find a way to interpret. Here's an interpreter with GUI. All right. Needs Python pillow, okay, so we're gonna set up a virtual environment here and we can pass in the PNG file. Cool, let's try it out. Let's do git clone. I'll go into the directory and I'm gonna activate the Python three, I'm gonna say. Yeah, we'll try Python 3 here. And
Okay, let's try and run it here and just see what errors. Oh, is it Python? Yeah, it's Python. GUI though. Um, all right, let me run Python main. Yeah, uh, pip install numpy. Try that again. Pip install. Ooh, it's not going to be pill. What's it going to be though? Oh, I hate this. I hate I hate it when you can't just let's see. Pillow. And what was the last thing? Pi gubu. Oops. <laughs> pip install. Pip install. All right. Python main. And it requires a file, so we'll give it dot dot slash Where is but is it? Misc. Mm. Okay, what's it called? Art dot PNG. Is that gonna open? Let's see here. Python main, we passed in the file. Okay, so it should. We can try and log it verbose, maybe. Alright, it did try there. It's. Uh, okay. Okay, we can try and do it dash G to get the graphical up because this isn't working for us. Let's see what else is available to us as well. Interpreter. Ah, here we go. We've opened this up. Um, take step. So we're stepping through, but is it gonna? Hopefully, it's gonna give us a string or something somewhere. <laughs> Set scale. Is this the size? Oops. There we go. So you can see it's actually stepping through as it's going around there. But um, is it going to print something out at any point? I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's finished taking steps. All right, this isn't working for us. Let's see. Um, let's see what other tools we can try out here. Okay. Um, NPR interpreter and editor, which is available as well. I uh, was hoping it might be available to us as an apt get package, but it's not. Okay. Let's see. Online. Let's see if we have something. Okay, Brett, choose a file. Art.png. Do the capture. Upload and execute. And there we have our flag. 
Cool. All right. Um, probably should that would have been a bit quicker. Just finding an online interpreter. I'm not too sure why the why that Git repo wasn't working. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Any questions, comments? Leave them down below. Thanks.